you've seen the Barrel Coopers puzzle box and the Treasure Chest puzzle box from 3D Printy. That's Joseph Covell. Find out more about his newest 3D printed sequential discovery puzzle box called the Lunar Lighthouse. Check it out in this episode of Puzzle Time. Welcome to episode 132 of Puzzle Time. In this episode, we are talking about the Lunar Lighthouse Puzzle Box. Right here. Well, now let's get right into it. This is from Joseph Covell. Now, what other puzzles has he done, Linnea? He's done the Barrel Cooper and the Treasure Chest Puzzle Box. So this is the Lunar Lighthouse. It's a level eight on the Puzzle Master difficulty rating scale. It is a sequential discovery puzzle box, and so uh, there is pieces inside, as you can hear, that will come out of this puzzle box, and it is made to look like a lighthouse. And uh, but unfortunately, on this lighthouse, there is a missing piece on top here, which is what you are supposed to find. You can actually see if you look. There's like grooves in this top here where some a piece will screw in, and so that's what you're trying to find. That's the uh, objective of this puzzle. But there is a second objective that goes. There with is the a puzzle, second objective, yeah. Um, which is finding the missing yellow moon, yeah, which would moon. go in here. The moon does go right in here. There's a little spot there where the moon will go, and so the lamp room. Okay, what would you call that? What would you call the light part on the top? Because lamp room is kind of what weird. What, what, well, the that's what Joseph, he. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way he he worded I it. I would say return the light to the top of the light. Yeah, the light, and it actually does light up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not for super long though. But, Should we is... show the second part or the first first part of the solution, the yeah. first move? Or do you yeah, think... let's let's show the first. Let's okay. just show the first, the very first thing you do. Yeah. it's pretty obvious. So we're not giving anything major away here because, uh, you, well, let's let's move through the puzzle here. Okay. There is, wait, when you move it, you can see that there is a separation right there, right in the middle of the puzzle. There's a piece that, like, you can tell it's almost like it's two pieces, right? Yeah. There is um, this window here and that window there, which this is where the moon goes, but there's nothing that really moves per se. There that you can see initially, and then there is a bunch of cuts at the bottom here in different pieces. And so nothing really initially moves other than, and let's show this part here, the very first thing that happens is that you push on this side, or push on one of the sides, and there's a piece that has, that does come out. Yeah, there it is. And it has a magnet on the bottom. So, um, yeah, I, I think that's all we want to show them. Yeah, that, that I don't want to show too out. much more. I don't want to show too much more either. <laughs> With this puzzle, for me, I found the mechanism that's used to solve it isn't as obvious as some of his other puzzles. No, that's true. So it's a little bit yeah. more hidden and kind of a little bit more difficult to understand, but yeah, I don't want to yeah. give too much more away from that. And that's what I like about Joseph Cobble, though, is he pivots and changes his puzzles lots and updates. He's very, very active with that. And so I appreciate that. He's done that on a bunch of his other puzzles. So go to his, his YouTube channel, 3D Printing. It's wonderful. But let's get into the next uh, section here, which is talking about Puzzle Insider. We're going to be talking about Gregory, who shoots this a lot actually in this episode. So, well, yeah, what, what are we looking at at Puzzle? This episode's about, this is episode 10 of Puzzle Insider, and it is a interview with the designer Yuasaka. Mm -hmm. And so if you haven't familiar with Yuasaka's puzzles, he does acrylic packing puzzles. And so Gregory just walks through his design process with those packing puzzles and kind of just more informational stuff like that on him as a yeah. designer. So let's check it out. Episode 10 of Puzzle Inside. I'm extremely happy I could get an interview with the amazing puzzle designer, Yosaka. He's personally one of my favorite 2D packing puzzle designers in the world. And I think he deserves his name as a legendary puzzle designer. Yuasaka's first puzzle was Jigsaw 29. It was actually created as a school assignment. Yuasaka graduated from Art University in 2019 and he likes Edward Hopper's paintings and he also occasionally paints. His favorite puzzles are Cast Radix and Cast Rattle from Hanayama. 
Both puzzles had beautiful solutions and I enjoyed them very much. His favorite two-dimensional puzzle is Rectangular Jam by Hirokazu Iwasawa, which won the honorable mention at the 2005 puzzle design competition. It didn't play most of the two-dimensional packing puzzle, except for the famous one. I was also very interested to hear Iwasaka's process of making a puzzle and I was actually blown by it. When I make a puzzle, I first sketch a lot of meaningless shapes and abstract images on paper. Basically, the subject is music and things around me. And when I can draw a good looking shape, I refine it by combining it with the puzzle idea I had at the time. For example, Olio 10 was created with the image of Michel Petrucciani's Olio. Bird 11 was made from a sketch of bird dropping. The idea of puzzle gimmick often comes up by chance, so I still don't know how to come up with it intentionally. It takes about half a year to a year to make one puzzle, but I make several puzzles at the same time. As long as I can come up with an idea for a puzzle, I will continue to work on it. And also, there may be a possibility that Yuasaka comes up with puzzles other than 2D backing puzzles. Thank you very much Yuasaka for the answers. That was the interview with Yuasaka on uh, just a short clip of Puzzle Insider episode 10. You can check out the full Insider episode on our YouTube channel. But next, let's get into the online the buzz. Online buzz. Okay, online buzz. We're talking about Gregory, Puzzle Wanderer, again, his YouTube channel though, not Puzzle Insider. But uh, I watched a couple of his hashtag shorts on YouTube and I uh, was really captured by these uh, two videos that he did. And it's all around uh, Will Strybos' egg. So the first video is him showing the solution. The second video is him explaining the solution. This puzzle still has me like completely dumbfounded. And I feel like it's one of the, I think it's a puzzle you're gonna solve and not know what you did. Yeah, like, with Will just... Strybos, I find a lot of his puzzles are like crazy hard to understand. And, and this one's at the top moves. of that. I think so. this one's at the very top of that. It, this puzzle is not. Um, well, this is an IPP but, and it won prize as an IPP, right? Yeah, it's really yeah. different. Like, yeah, I've never, I still never seen anything else like this puzzle. Um, but check it out. Here's the, here's the two videos. We'll show them consecutively and uh, tell us what you think. Would you, would you like to try the egg uh, by Will Stribal? This is the egg puzzle by Will Stribal, one of the best metal puzzle designers in the world. The goal of the puzzle is to take apart the two parts of the egg, and this is a puzzle that solidly and heavily relies on gravity. Inside this puzzle are tons of gravity pins and gravity mechanisms you need to manipulate. There's at least five pins and also a very weird contraption that only unlocks the puzzle when the puzzle is upside down. First of all, if I put the puzzle like this, then it's completely locked. But if I turn it upside down and maybe move some pins, then bam, I can open the puzzle a little bit. And in the middle of the puzzle is a very long rod with holes in it that locks a lot of things. And it's so difficult to understand this. It's even more difficult to explain this. So I'll just solve the puzzle for you guys and you'll see how it looks from the inside. And this is the solved puzzle. This is how it looks. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see an explanation short of this puzzle. A while ago, I made the solution video of this puzzle, and you guys asked me to try and explain it. I have disassembled the puzzle. The puzzle is very complex, and every time I solve it, I struggle since it has so many elements. Here we can see one pin that is moving with gravity. This pin can lock the puzzle with this notch. Here we can see a hole which will lock the puzzle using this pin. This shaft here is actually extremely crazy. You can see how many details there are. You can see a notch, a hole, this notch that goes all around, and this weird mechanism. This mechanism is moved by gravity and will only be unlocked when the egg is upside down. While all this happens, there's also three pins here. One in the middle and two on the sides. These two make it harder to move the big moving part right here and you need to maneuver them one by one for this to pass. This pin locks everything together and moves on this shaft. There's a very specific combination of moves you need to execute using gravity, spinning, pushing and pulling at the same time to solve this puzzle. So yeah, what do you guys think? Egg, Will Stribos, do you want to try it? I don't Do we have it on our site? Is it... We have it in stock right Okay, now. it was in stock because I know for the longest time it was out of stock. Yeah, but... we just got it back about a month ago. There you go. Go to puzzmaster.ca, find your own copy of Egg by Will Stribos and uh, a whole bunch of other, his, his puzzles are great. So, yeah. yeah. Next, into our brain teaser. Linnea, what brain teaser do we have today? So we picked a puzzle maze. These puzzle mazes are crazy and like, I find them really hard to solve. They were fun. I, yeah. I sat down and tried to do this one. I'm like, oof. 
You need a lot of time. So they're made by a, a designer named Sean Jackson. He has a page where he sells all his puzzle books. You can go check him out. He has really cool themed ones. So he has like Star Wars theme, Marvel theme. But uh, what, okay, the thing with his stuff actually, what it reminded me of, because what it is, it's mazes that you got to run through three dimensional mazes or pictures of mazes. And the, the Star Wars or the Marvel ones had like uh, characters from those shows in the maze. And uh, yeah, you can check out this maze um, on our Facebook page because yeah. you'll be posting some of these. Mazes. Oh, I've, I've posted some before and I will be posting more of them once I get to it here. But yeah, some of maybe some of the Marvel ones you'll see on Facebook as well soon. Ooh. So cool. he hey. sent us his book. I'm so excited. Yeah, we got pre-order of it. So uh, <laughs> hey, benefit to Puzzle Master. Yeah. Next, on to our YouTube review. And this, uh, so this is all just review videos of puzzles that are posted on our YouTube channel. Um, I want to talk a bit about those. And today we're featuring a puzzle called the Patience Puzzle. It's from Tucker Jones House. If you haven't seen Tucker Jones House, they do, um, they take essentially wire puzzles and make a big, fat, beefy metal version of them. Wire puzzles usually are like small and these ones are huge. These yeah. are huge puzzles. Okay, next we are into our puzzle contest. Now last episode we didn't have a puzzle contest. This episode we do. But yeah, tell them about the uh, puzzle contest. So this one's actually really exciting. I think it's our best one yet. It goes so along with our theme of it our does. puzzle here. Um, the puzzles included are going to be actually you get this puzzle in it, the Lunar Lighthouse, oh. um, the Barrel Cooper's puzzle box, the Treasure Chest puzzle box by Joseph Koval, yeah. all those ones. And then plus we also have the Detonator puzzle by Fortunate Sun. And the last one, which I think is an amazing puzzle, is the Traffic Light puzzle by Creative Workshop. Yeah. Creative Workshop is definitely my favorite 3D printed company. 3D Printy gives it a good run for its money as well, but I love Creative Workshop. I love their puzzles. Yeah. Um, but Canadian this, designer too. Yeah, Canadian as well. Well, he lives in Canada. He's not originally from Canada, but he is he is in Canada now. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah. so there is $385 worth of puzzles being given away here. Yeah. That's a, a lot, lot of money and, you can and win. And not, not only just value of puzzles, but like really popular ones like these. I'm sure this yeah. is going to be sold out soon. Too. Oh, yes, for sure. But, uh, so, yeah, you're getting puzzles that are like. It may really even be sold out right by now. the time we do this it might video. Be, wait a minute. <laughs> by the time this episode comes out, it might be sold out. You can get your copy of potentially of any of one of these five puzzles. Uh, yeah, it was a link in the description, right? Yeah. And so the contest does end on October 31st, 2022, here. So, you have to get your entry in before then. So if you want to get these puzzles for yourself, I would hurry in now before yeah. it's And hopefully you're over. watching this before October 31st, 2022. <laughs> if not, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, last but not least, we are adding a new section to our show called Puzzle Trivia. And so I have uh, thought of a question to ask. And um, it's a really good one. I is, enjoy this designer's puzzles a lot. Yeah, Oscar Van, <laughs> Van Deventer, uh, we, we messaged, uh, I emailed him find out the answer and the question is what is the first puzzle Oscar van Deventer designed and in what year so what was the first puzzle he designed um, I had no idea yeah I, I don't know puzzle. a lot of his earlier stuff I've just known a lot more of his most recent stuff yeah but. yeah so uh, <laughs> think about it let us know in the comments uh, I'm gonna give you the answer here right away but let us know in the comments and you can just stop the video here if you don't want to find out the answer right away but uh, let us, yeah, let us know in the comments what do you think uh, is the answer to this, this question. What's your favorite one by him, Tyler? Well, they think of their answer. <laughs> I like, oh, that that one he printed with magnets. It was one of the first ones I saw with um, the wood. The wood, you know the wood? Um, oh, the matchbox one. The no, three. not the wood. No? No, it's the knot, that knot one. Oh, that, like, the it Gordian like, knot? It looks like, yeah, uh, what's it that? Gordian's knot or Gordian's Gordian? knot. Yeah, it, it was the one. It was the one that was like the three D printed wood stuff, where they like infuse wood into like the three D printing oh, stuff. Oh like yeah, wood. he has a couple of those ones. Yeah, I don't remember what the name of it is, but it's that not one. I really like that one. I thought that yeah. was fun. I mean, he has some great handy ammo. Do any of his handy ammo stuff is just yeah. wonderful. How My favorite three D printed one is the puzzle ring, the rainbow ring that he does. Uh, um, for. Which ones did he do in Tanya? Am I gonna kind of remember? I don't always remember. Too, yeah, but, they're, but they're that's good ones. definitely they're my good favorite ones, yeah. 3D printed ones. So. Yeah. so the answer, drum roll, is big knot. Now I'd never heard of this puzzle before, but it is a 14-piece 
burger puzzle that he designed in 1981. And uh, it was with help from a guy named Professor William Vanderpool. Vanderpool. Uh, I guess he con got connected with him. Now, he, I, he wasn't specific with where the connection came from through this, but uh, it's a book called Creative Puzzles of the World. Oh, it's a book. okay. Yeah, so there's a book that I, I imagine maybe Oscar saw his name in there and connected with him because they're both, I believe, believe they're both Dutch. I did a bit of bit of uh, research on Professor William Vanderpool, and he's like a computer science genius. This guy like designed computers or something, or designed computers back in the day. But yeah, uh, that's cool. Big knot. Check it out. We'll put a link to uh, link to the puzzle where you can find out a bit more about it. I also link to the um, the book called uh, Creative Puzzles of the World book if you want to find out more about where Oscar was maybe reading back in the eighties. The book is still around, so. Uh, check it out, but that's that's the uh, that's puzzle trivia. Let us know if you like that section, and we'll we'll continue to do it because we have we can talk to some of the puzzle designers and find some yeah. fun questions like this. But that's the end of our episode. Uh, hope you guys liked seeing a bit more about the uh, lunar lighthouse uh, puzzle box from Joseph Covell, and uh, we will see you guys next time in episode 133 of Puzzle Time. Remember to check us out on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, mm -hmm. and on YouTube here as well. Check out our other Absolutely. videos. Yeah, cool. Thanks, guys. See ya. Yeah.